lovely afternoon on the Swan River in Perth. I've just got the little micro jig here. I'm not sure what brand it was. I think I picked it up from uh, Getaway Outdoors probably a few months ago. From memory, it was a 10 gram micro jig and it was in blue. I haven't used these a hell of a lot and so I'm just working on my retrieves. Basically, I'm just letting it sink down to the bottom and then giving it three little rips upwards, sort of like you would with a squid jig. Just slowly hopping it towards me. Where I'm casting out to is sort of a bit of a steep drop off and then it's a, probably about 10, 20 meters of flat area in front of me. As usual, all the hops are really coming from my wrist. One, two, three. Nice strike on the lift. It could have grabbed it when it was fluttering down. We'll see here. Lovely hook up. The old fellow next to me just got a little tailor. Beautiful flatty. 42, perfect eating size. After seeing um, the lovely bloke next to me get a few tailor, I started ripping in the micro jig quickly. And I got a few little choppers. The fellow next to me just got a flathead on a um, muley on a gang hook as well. I've just got my 2500 reel with my 8 foot 6 Diora Hyper Rod. Perfect to cast these um, little micro jigs a bloody mile. Having said that, I was going for some of the bigger tailor. So I chucked on my Monsoon Breaker and this is on my 3000 Nasky and my 8 foot Laguna X which is rated to cast out more heavier 30 gram lures. The hype is only rated around that sort of 12 gram mark. I've also done the hook upgrade. I put on the BKK fangs at the back after I had the um, the blunt single hook on on my last video. Didn't take long. so beautifully. The monsoon breaker almost cast just as far as your average metal. Old mate was doing pretty well with the uh, muley and gangs too. Just keeping the pressure, keeping my rod down low so it doesn't breach. Don't have to drag too tight so I can manoeuvre him around without pulling the hooks. Beautiful. Lovely swan tailor. Yeah, easy. This one felt really nice straight away. Pull on a bit of drag, love it. Just taking my time. 
don't want to rush it. Once he was knackered out, I pulled him up. Lovely. I think he measured up to 38. Yeah. So it's a great arvo. Got a few more little tailor which I chucked back, but kept two flatties and two tailor for a beautiful feed. The other flatty uh, footage will be included in another video I'm making about the hyper. For now, I've got the fish chowder. Lately, instead of spending 10 bucks on two chicken breasts, I buy a whole chicken and piece it up. So this was a free range chicken, which was about 10 bucks. Took off the Marylands and the wings for another feed. Um, chopped up the breasts and had them marinated for some um, chicken strips. And then I use the frame to make some stock, which I was going to use for this soup. For the stock, I've chopped up a few celery sticks, one whole carrot, which I've chopped into a few pieces, chucked in a whole onion peeled, one garlic clove, and a big handful of lemon thyme. I've also put in some salt and whole peppercorns too. It's pretty simple. Bring it to the boil. After about 20 minutes, skim off all the, the foamy crap on top, and then you just put it on low heat and let it simmer for about three hours. Leave the lid off to reduce and concentrate the flavour. After about three hours, pour it through a strainer. I then leave the remaining chicken bits there, put a bit more water in there, and put on high heat and start mashing. I'll then give that a good burn for about three minutes and strain again. Tasty stuff. Perfect for risottos. Yeah. For the chowder, I'm just chopping up one onion and one garlic clove, I think it was, or maybe two. And then chop up one whole carrot and I think uh, two or three sticks of um, celery. Basically just making it so free to... A tip when making uh, potato slices, take a little bit off the end there and you can sit it up on its end there. It's easier to cut. I'm just going to dice this up. Chuck in some butter, onion, garlic, brown that off, and chuck in your carrot, celery. Let that brown and cook for about five minutes before you add in the flour. Mix the flour around, add in a little bit of white wine, and it's going to go real gluggy. To the glug, you're going to add in your stock. I missed this bit of the video, but basically, just chucking your stock. I've put in about two cups worth. The rest of the stock I've put in a Ziploc bag for the next meal. After about three or four minutes, I'll chuck in about one or two cups of whole milk. Chuck in your potato. And you're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes just so the potato cooks through. And you can chuck in your fish. I'm spacing it out here a bit because I don't really want to mix it too much after adding in the fish because I don't want all the flesh to break away. So I've got the tailor fillets and the flathead fillets all diced up. I've also added in a lot of salt and pepper as well, just to taste. That's cooked for about four to five minutes. Beautiful. I had this with some toast. A crusty loaf would have been even better. For more Taylor and Catch and Cook videos, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.